whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. On one occasion, I was flying and some massive storms blew through the area and we had to divert and land in Indianapolis. And as I was walking along the concourse, I came across um, a lady who was bargaining with a shoeshine fellow to try and get a discounted rate. Uh, as I stepped up, I said, excuse me, ma'am, but I really think that this gentleman really needs the money. So I'll tell you what, I'll pay for your boot shine. I thought, well, here's a little opportunity. So I sat up in the other chair and these two gentlemen began to shine our shoes. And I said to the fellow, uh, uh, where are you from? And they said, we're from Eritrea, which is over on the, the Horn of Africa. And I said, I have a question for you. Suppose all of a sudden I were to keel over here and I was lying writhing on the floor and, and I said to you uh, I just have two minutes to live I'm, I'm dying and I'm going to stand before God tell me what do I need to do to be ready to meet God what would you say to me I, I, I don't know what I'd say I said well what about your friend here does he know what to say and he said no he, he didn't know what to say either well I said thankfully this lady here she was raised here in America where the gospel has been preached for hundreds of years she, she probably knows the answer. She said, you know, I don't know the answer either. What a great thing it is to open up the Word of God and hear the Lord Jesus say, Come to me, all of you who are tired of carrying your heavy loads, I'll give you rest. As we think of the ecological disasters, the earthquakes, the pestilence, the breakdown of family, the wars and rumors of wars, the stirrings in the Middle East, the, the rise of China. As we look at our own nation and we see the, the distress on every hand, the Lord Jesus says to us, I have a peace not like the world gives. And in the midst of all this distress, we find a, a still point, we find a quiet spot, we find a place of safety and security, of rest and satisfaction in the Lord Jesus. And this is the promise that God gives. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. We have a book that we can count on. The Bible is dependable from cover to cover. And every promise that God has ever made, he has kept. And so when he promises that those who put their trust in him, he will save them, you can be sure that his promise will come to pass. And when he says that his son is coming back again, well, you can be as sure of that as all of these other prophecies that were fulfilled when he came the first time. Oh, to think of it, that God cares about you as a person and that God wants to rescue you, wants to save you, so that you can sing in truth what a friend we have in Jesus.